It is John Wesley who was regarded as leader of the movement and founder of the church. But it was his brother, Charles Wesley, who was born 300 years ago. He wrote well over 6,000 hymns. Excuse me, Howard, but this is my film. Wesley's chapel was built in 1778, and he described it as perfectly neat, but not fine. Underneath the chapel is the Museum of Methodism, showing artifacts and family histories. Much coloured glass was added during the Victorian period. John Wesley's chapel is now known throughout the world as the Cathedral of World Methodism. Charles Wesley was a popular minister, a powerful preacher and an inspirational poet of the 18th century. And yet his evocative verse still touches people today. Yes, it was Charles Wesley who wrote all those lovely hymns that we all know. And with the kind help of Howard and the BBC, we can now see what this chapel looks like when it's filled with people and filled with music. And so people have come to Wesley's Chapel from all over London and beyond to sing just a selection of Charles Wesley's finest hymns. And we begin with that classic hymn of praise, Ye Servants of God. He lived in Chesterfield Street in Marylebone, a three mile uh, distance. There was just a narrow path with one house on it in, in, in those days. And he'd come those three miles most Sundays. And on that horse, whilst he was riding, he would be composing hymns. But there was one just famous occasion. He jumped off the horse, shouted, pen and ink, pen and ink. And there, outside in the open air, the first uh, lines of one of his hymns were written. He wrote wherever, whenever. Uh, he was terrifically prolific, and it came to him whole, as it were. He wanted to put into words that spirit that he felt, and was obviously tried every different way. He used tunes from anywhere and everywhere. The more popular the tune, the better, as far as he was concerned. He didn't want to write them to be different. He wanted to write them to be in the society so that people sang them for pleasure. My heart, my heart, and my heart it does dance. 
Tis life, tis life, tis life, tis life everlasting, tis heaven below, tis life everlasting, tis heaven below. you should also visit John Wesley's house which is next door and very much in its uh, original condition. And this next hymn is definitely one of my favourites.
just across City Road from the chapel in Bunhill Fields, you may visit the grave of Susanna Wesley, the mother of John and Charles, and uh, non-conformists including Bunyan, Watts and Blake. Changed from glory into glory, till in heaven we take our place, till we cast our crowns before thee, lost in wonder, love and praise. To this great hope, may God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and those you love, today and always. Amen. Amen. 300 years from now, will we still be singing Charles Wesley's hymns? I think we probably will. And they don't get much better than this. Popular at weddings and funerals, it's definitely my favorite. <laughs>